Hey everybody, it's Jennifer Gonzalez for Cult of Pedagogy. I am reporting again on the book Make It Stick. And in this video, I'm going to talk to you about chapter four, which is called Embrace Difficulties. I'm going to read you a quote from it because I think this kind of covers uh, the whole idea of the chapter is that um, for learning to be lasting, it um, it should be a little bit hard. We shouldn't necessarily spoon feed things and make it really easy because that process of learning, if it's a little bit challenging and difficult, it will actually stick with the learner longer. So here's the quote from this chapter. When you're asked to struggle with solving a problem before being shown how to solve it, the subsequent solution is better learned and more durably remembered. Uh, and this process, they're calling it generative learning. In other words, you, it's almost like constructivism. You sort of you generate your own learning instead of someone just saying, this is the way it is, and then here you go. So I was thinking about how this applies to our teaching. Um, one thing is that you know when our students are complaining that an assignment is too hard, that's not necessarily a bad thing. That shouldn't mean that you abandon the lesson. Um, you should, I think, look at whether or not the lesson is designed poorly, but uh, consider maybe it's just that they're not going to get it right away and that may be a good thing. Um, another thing is that we talk a lot in education about how failure uh, is, a, is a desirable thing and that we should embrace it, but there's not a lot of how-to uh, or a lot of discussion about how to actually do that. Um, and so what they suggest in this book is that we should actually kind of be building that in to our lessons. Okay, my daughter wants to say hi really quick. Okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> so th in this book, I th they talk about sort of like actually making failure part of the lesson plan. And so one example I was thinking of is suppose you're trying to <laughs> teach kids the scientific method. Instead of just saying this is the scientific method, sort of have them try to design an experiment and see if, if it doesn't work the way they want it to, then they kind of learn from that experience, from the failure, instead of just saying, here are the steps and checking everything out ahead of time. Have them kind of stumble a little bit, and then the, lear <laughs> the learning that they'll do will be a lot longer lasting. That's chapter four.